across the river, you're looking at the most important battle zone in Ukraine. Severodonetsk was built on the wealth of heavy industry, but is turning to ashes and memories. Districts changed hands while we watched. What happens here may decide the outcome of the war in the east of the country. The next door town is within shooting range of Russian artillery. We're here to see the homes where people used to live, the places where they used to meet. The Palace of Culture was housing evacuees when it was hit this week. Russian troops trying to find Ukrainian soldiers to crush a counteroffensive. Listen to the sound of the whistles. Those are Russian shells flying past us. One shell too many for these families who have decided to leave. There's panic, there are tears. For Nikolai, this is the hardest moment. Just ask, you know, uh, why, are you why are you leaving? But as the residents disappear, not everyone is distraught. For those who have only known war, its sounds barely merit a flinch. Away from the daylight, in the underground bunkers, evacuees complain that there's not enough medicine not enough food. But delusion dies in the darkness, those springtime hopes that this would be an easy war for Ukraine to win. You can see it and we can certainly hear it, but so much of Ukraine's defence is now tied up in these small towns. And one question being asked is whether it's worth it. But this is now a war of attrition. And in this region, Ukraine's armed forces have managed to suck the Russians into daily street battles. However, Moscow has made clear the importance of this place. Winning here might allow them to make progress elsewhere. Uh, this is uh, I I today's critical day, and uh, yesterday and two days ago were very critical. So this story here of attack and counterattack rumbles on and its ending may determine the outcome of this phase of the war. Rohit Katru, News at 10, Lissy Shansk. Ей турикет наклала. Куда? На Куда хочешь, давай, давай.